Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a review on my new Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I do have the original and also the new Semi Sweet. They got sent to me, a, I think a week ago um, from today. And I want to give you guys a little review and comparison on the both of them. Um, I was going to do a review separately. I was going to do the original first, a review on that one. And then I was going to do a separate video on the new Semi Sweet one. Um, but I felt like it would be too much for me and um, it would take a little bit longer. So I felt like I should talk up about them a little bit more before I do makeup tutorials using them. So I want to give you guys a review slash comparison um, on the both of them. So this is going to be a very sweet review comparison name swatching video. Um, that's what you can call it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to stay tuned if you want to keep on watching. So Okay, so let's just talk about overall and how I got these palettes um, together because you do have to purchase them you know one by one and they did have a special going on, on Too Faced.com where you can get the chocolate box um, instead of having to buy the, t the two of them separately you could get them together um, with a discount code of $78 for the both of them so that's what I ended up doing I ended up going on Too Faced.com ordering them um, the both of them for $78 with a discount code and it was originally gonna be $98 so it was like a steal so I was like thank god so I ordered them and they like they came like last week like I made a week today so I was like you know what I need to put a, a video for you guys I haven't filmed a video um, I've just been working so I haven't got the chance to so I finally got the chance to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit more about these palettes before I ended up just doing a makeup tutorial because I was going to end up filming a makeup tutorial on this look but I was like you know instead of me um, doing a makeup look with this palette they're not going to know much about it so I feel like I should I should have done a review before I do makeup tutorials using them so yeah let's just go ahead and begin so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the both of the palettes together so you guys can see what they both look like so these are the two palettes right here and they are so gorgeous. I love the packaging overall. Um, it just, you know, they're chocolate boxes. They're chocolate bars, so they look exactly like chocolates. Um, and I just love the packaging. It's super cute. Um, it's very eye-catching, and they're just gorgeous. Um, this one right here says the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and this one right here says the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. So. This one right here is the original, and this one right here is the newest one, which is the semi sweet. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my review on the first one first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this one after. So, when you get this palette, it comes with this little pamphlet, and it just kind of gives you a guide on how to apply these shadows. So, it's just a little pamphlet telling you how to, you know, where to apply the shadows, um, things like that. So, this is perfect for beginners, um, and they also did give one with the semi sweet. This is obviously great for beginners. If you don't know how to apply eyeshadow to your eyes, you can obviously look at, look at this, look over it. Um, it gives you ideas and tips um, where to apply the shadow. So really cute that they give this. So this one right here is the original Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And both of these palettes are made with 100% cocoa powder. So they smell just like chocolate when you open them. And all you want to do is just like, you know, eat it so that's like pretty much what you want to do to them it's just you just want to eat it so while you're applying your shadow you just all you do is smell chocolate so that's just like perfection for me so I've never had anything like this um that something smells like chocolate so I thought that was pretty neat that they you know did that and they also have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer which I which I also want to try in the future um maybe soon I'll pick that up but um yeah this one right here is the original. In the front, it just has a chocolate bar. Obviously, it looks like a chocolate bar. And they're very hard packaging. Like, I love the packaging of these because if you're traveling, um, these shadows obviously won't get smushed in your things, in your, you know, in your carry-on or your um, suitcase. It won't get smushed because it's just a, you know, hard cover and it'll protect the shadows. So, what a lot of people co do complain about the original um, with the semi sweet is that the original does not have the names printed on the palette um, that's the only complaint that I do see on YouTube like when I looked up reviews a lot of people were complaining that the names weren't weren't printed on the palette itself but the newest one they did print the names on the palette so I thought that was a lot more convenient and just a lot more easier for me to show you guys you know the shadows instead of me having to point to them but um, let me just open it to show you guys, you know, that they don't have the names on them and what they do to have the names. So, when you open them, it just looks like this. Sorry if the uh, mirror is blinding you. So, 
So this one does not have the names on them, but they do come with this little pamphlet sheet that has the names on them. So this is what it looks like right here. It just says chocolate bar right here in the front in this Willy Wonka printed font. And I thought that was so cute. So it's just Too Faced chocolate bar and these are all these shadows. Um, and what I really do like about these palettes is that they came out with the brow bone and inner corner colors for the two are wicked bigger than the other ones because those are the most frequently um, used shadows in your palette is always your brow bone and inner corner because they're like neutral white shades and they're very shimmery so you could just apply those in your inner corner or even to the brow bone. So, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the names with you guys. So this first one right here in the top corner is called Glitter Ganache and that one is just like an emerald olivey green with gold reflex in it super gorgeous and really pigmented I'll actually uh, swatch this for you guys super pigmented this one right here is called white chocolate and this one's perfect for the brow bone this one right here is called milk chocolate and this is perfect for the crease for a translucent color just a light perfect brown this one right here is like a purpley shade and it has gold reflex in it this one's called black forest truffle a really pretty one and this one right here is like a darker brown shade, almost black looking. This one's triple fudge. This one's very similar to a black, so this palette does not contain a black shadow. So this one would be really similar to a black. Um, so yeah. This one right here um, is called Salted Caramel. This is like an orangey brown, perfect for a translucent color for the crease. This one is called Ma Marpanes. Marpanes. Mars Pen. I don't know how to say the name of it, so... Excuse that. This one right here is called Semi Sweet and it's a little bit darker than the Milk Chocolate. Um, perfect for the crease as well. This one right here is a pink shade, very pretty. It's called Strawberry Bon Bon and um, it's very similar to Pink Sugar in the Semi Sweet palette, so that is it. Um, pretty pink color. This one right here is like a purpley blue sh shade and this one's called Candid Velvet. Um, really pretty color, um, so yeah, that's the color of it. And this one right at the corner is like a like a wine shimmery color, and this one is called Arm Armadillo. Um, I think that's what it's called, Armadillo. And then the last row is right in this corner. And this one's called Hazelnut. Uh, really gorgeous bronzy shade um so that one's called hazelnut this one right next to it is called creme brulee and that is a perfect gold color it's very pigmented very buttery um this one right next to it old chocolate very pretty this one is called cherry cord corded cherry corded I think that's how you say it. It's just like a perfect mahogany brown maroon. It's like a perfect wine maroon burgundy color. It's really pretty. Um, and I never had a shade like this in any of my palettes that I owned in my makeup collection. So that is like one of the rarest colors. And I will actually swatch it for you guys. Um, it's a matte shade. But it's super pigmented. And pretty creamy for a matte shade. So and the last one in this palette is called... Champagne truffle and this one is perfect for the brow bone slash inner corner as well as the milk the white chocolate So so yeah, I love this palette overall. It's just a gorgeous palette. I love all the shades in here um, So yeah, I love the shades in this palette super gorgeous um, The only complaint that I do have about this palette is that it comes with a pamphlet sheet It does not have the names written on them, which is kind of a pain in the ass um to be putting the sheet back in and stuff, putting it in and out, it's just kind of a convenient and kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? So this one is the first one, so that's just my little little sweet review on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this so I can get started on the second one. Semi Sweet does come with a little guide as well to show you guys how to apply the shadows, um, especially for beginners. If you're new to makeup and you don't know how to apply your shadows, this is really good to have. Um, for a guide. So here is the new Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I love this. And I feel like this one I like a lot more better. I don't know. People were saying that they love the original better because this one does have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This one has a lot of a more neutral, 
um, crease colors, a lot more browns and crease colors, which is perfect for me because you guys know me, I was always using my Armada Decay Naked palette and, you know, it was just time for me to like slow down on that and, you know, uh, make my makeup collection a little bit more bigger and just get a new palette. So I was always, you know, considering on buying a new palette, I just didn't know which one, so wicked glad that I got these two palettes anyways. Um, so yeah, let's just go over this. Um, semi sweet palette, so it's the same exact cover, it's just a lighter brown um, color. And again, it smells like chocolate, it's 100% um, cocoa powder. So the, the print just says Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I'll go ahead and open it for you guys. So, this is what it looks like when you open it. This one's so gorgeous. I love this one, I don't know what it is. I feel like this one I'm gonna get a lot more use out of. Um, instead of the first one. I love the first one as well. I love all the colors in there. But like I said, I'll be grabbing this one a lot more just because the browns and the crease colors um, just has a lot more cool toned everyday colors. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and flip it upside down so you guys can see. So that is it. Super gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and go over the names with you guys uh, so you guys can see. So the first one that we have right in this top corner right here is called licorice and it's just a perfect matte black shade and you always need a black matte shade in your palette um, the original does not have a black shade like I was telling you guys a little bit earlier um, so you know hot fudge that color hot fudge would be perfect f to um, use as a black so um, yeah that one does not have a black shade but this one does which is a lot more convenient um, so that one's called licorice this one right here is a brown bone color slash inner corner color. Like they like they did with the original, they came out with the brow bone colors a lot more bigger than the other shadows because those are the most frequently used shadows because you're applying that all the time to your brow bone and your inner corner. So that is like your most used shadows, these two white ones. So that one right there is called Coconut Cream. Perfect for the brow bone slash inner corner. Just a basic creamy white shade. This one right here is called Nugget. It's just a like purpley, mauvey, light brown color. Um, really pretty. Um, you could probably put that in the crease or even on the eyelid. This one right here is called Truffle. It's like a medium brown shade, perfect for the crease. And it's just a gorgeous color. This one at the corner is called Hot Fudge. And it's a darker brown color but it kind of looks like it has purple tints in it and kind of pu purple sparkles in it um, it's just a really good color for the crease or for the eyelid um, whatever you want to use these shadows for I would probably use that for the crease or the eyelid um, so yeah that one's called hot fudge it's called cocoa chili and I have this all over my eyelids today so if you guys like the eyeshadow look that I'm wearing right now I use cocoa chili for the eyelid and then I'll go over the rest what I used for it, like the crease and the brow. I used um, coconut cream for the brow bone um, and a little bit in the inner corner. So I used cocoa chili for the lid. This one right here is called pink sugar. And a lot of people were complaining about this shade that it wasn't pigmented. And I feel like it's a pretty pigmented pink color because, you know, light shades, you're not going to expect them to be highly pigmented just because... You know the light colors. You're gonna you're gonna expect the darker colors to have more pigmentation and a lot more vibrancy than you know the lighter shades because lighter shades tend to not be as much vibrant as the darker shades. But um, that's what I would that's what I would say. So I feel like this pink is you know it's not disappointing. A lot of people were disappointed with this pink and also this blue color. I love them. I feel like you know this whole point where I got this palette is I seen that blueberry shade and I was like that is so gorgeous. Puddin is kind of similar to the color Truffle, but Puddin has a lot, a little bit more of a gray undertone and a little bit more of a gray undertone than Truffle. Then after Puddin, we have Blueberry Swirl, which a lot of people were complaining as well that it was not pigmented like Pink, pink Sugar. I feel like it's a really pigmented blue. I don't know what people are talking about. This is the color of it right here. It's such a gorgeous blue color. Just a pop of blue would be perfect. Um, if they added any other pops of color in here, I would honestly love it. This one right next to it, I used in my crease as well. Um, this one is called Peanut Butter, and I think this is one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's just, you know, a very rare color that I never had in my makeup eyeshadow collection. It's like a orangey 
brown color and it's such a pretty color it's called peanut butter and I honestly love the name of it so that's probably one of my favorite shades in the palette for the last middle row this is the last one this one's called frosting it's a really gorgeous bronzy bronzy brown shade really gorgeous highly pigmented love it this one right at the far corner in the last row is called rum raisin it's like a champagne grayish color really do love that this one is called mousse and I did mix mousse and peanut butter in my crease to start off with the translucent color before I put on cocoa chili in the for the lid um, so I used mousse and peanut butter so I love this color I'm um, absolutely loving peanut butter and mousse for this palette overall so love that color this one is called caramel and this is just a perfect gold color it's a bronzy gold really pretty love it the one right next to it is called Bon Bon. And that's just like a peachy copper color. It's super gorgeous as well. Love it. Just like a peachy coral copper color. So that is all the shades in the palette. Super gorgeous. Love all the shades in this palette. I have no complaints about this palette. Um, I find like I feel like I'm gonna love this one a lot more than, than the original. I don't know what it is. Um, but this one is just super gorgeous. So I'll kind of give you guys a close-up on what it looks like. Um if I bring it a little bit closer to you guys. So this is what the palette looks like. So I hope you guys enjoy my little review on the both of the chocolate bar palettes. The original and the semi-sweet new one. Um, I love these palettes. I'm super excited to add them to, to, they're already added to my collection. And I do have already a spot for these bad boys to go. Um, I'm definitely putting these before my naked palettes because I just feel like I'm going to be reaching these a lot more. And they're just going to be my favorite palettes of all time. So I cannot believe I have my hands on them. Love them to death. They are my go-to palettes now and they're gonna be my babies for a very long time. So expect to be seeing those a lot of this year of 2015. Am I forgetting anything? If you guys have any questions or if I didn't, you know, if I didn't explain something right in the video, um, just ask me a question down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. If you guys like this review, um, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already to stay tuned and stay um, updated with my YouTube videos. I haven't done a video in a while if I didn't explain that already in the beginning. I haven't gotten a video, a chance to do a video because I've just been really busy, I've been working and I haven't had the chance to sit down and film for you guys but today I did and I'm super excited to be um, using these palettes and I'm glad that I did this review so now that I can just do my makeup tutorials for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this review on these two chocolate bar, two face chocolate bar palettes and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.